I bought this for $79, thinking it was the work of a talented artist. But a robot made it. AI software called MidJourney, created by David Holtz. It's one of several image rendering programs used by millions. We're giving you this machine that can, can kind of uh, help you imagine anything you want. His program learns the rough rules of art by scanning images on the internet. Type in a description of any picture you want. Like, I want a blue dog in the style of art deco. And boom. How do you respond to the idea that this is somehow a counterfeit form of artistic expression? Well, we're not really selling art. We're just, we have this community that's playing with this technology. Is something new, is it not new? I think we have a lot of social stuff already for dealing with that. Um, like, I mean, the, the, art, like the art community already has issues with plagiarism. I don't really want to be involved in that. Like, I, I, think I, mean, you, I, 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 yeah. I think you might be. I might be. The way he sees it, Holes and his 18-person team have built a way to augment creativity. I showed my piece to an art expert. And be honest, I won't be offended. I, I'm, be, I'm being honest with you. It's definitely digitally created. She says using tech is fine as long as we're transparent about it. The user should be warned. If you still choose to buy it, that's up to you. Now I've come to Seattle to talk to the man who made this. Anthony Edwards, trained as an art director, showed me how easy it is. And how about like Vampire City Impressionist watercolor? couple holding hands. Whoa. He says he doesn't sell pieces anymore. Right now, he's using Midjourney to visualize hip-hop performers who died young as they would look if they'd lived to old age. The godlike power to commission any artist in history. Yeah, hmm. that's the fun part. Then I showed him what I'd brought. Uh, so it was this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this art? Do we consider this art? Yeah. 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 And are you the artist? Yeah. But he did not paint it. He it typed words into an app. What responsibility do you think you have to say to someone like me, hey, you know what, this was kicked out by a piece of AI? On the one hand, I feel like I, I do owe some. Uh, I, on, the, on the other hand, I, f I kind of feel like if you like it, you like it. David Holds admits he's not totally sure what he's even created. You're going to watch it develop over time. There are some things we know and there are some things we don't know. The challenging thing, the interesting thing is how do we use it to make people better? Jake, this brings up all kinds of legal questions. Number one, in this case, who owns the images that AI is producing? Well, listen, this is the really complicated thing. I mean, the way this software works, you cannot trace from the renderings back to any one image in particular in court. But in a new lawsuit against a similar piece of software, Getty Images says scanning images in its collection violates copyright. Quite likely, Lester, the courts and art historians are going to have to figure this one out. This is all mind-bending for me. <laughs> all right, Jake, thanks very much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.